My name is Jay Winter Knight Wolf. I'm Cherokee, Shoshone, and Taino, American Indian. Dr. Martin Luther King was very special to me because when he came to Washington, D.C. to deliver the I Have a Dream speech, I was just a little boy, young man. I told my friends in far northeast Washington that I was going to go to the march. But growing up in that community that was majority African American, a lot of my friends were afraid to go to the march. I'd say, why? Because my father said I shouldn't go down there because they're going to sick those dogs on us and use fire hoses. I said, not going to happen. So I ended up getting the bus from 44th and Dean Avenue to 7th and K Street. And when I got off of that bus, I saw a multitude of humanity traveling down 7th Street towards the mall. And as I was walking along, this was this old lady, not old lady, but I'd say in her 60s, 70s, she said, little boy, are you here by yourself? I said, yes, ma'am. She says, you're not black, are you? No, ma'am. What are you? I said, I'm American Indian. She said, well, come on with me and my family, and we'll take care of you today. So as we walked along, we got to the mall, and there was these booths where they were passing out these sandwiches, these brown bags for people that came. I found my way to the foot of the Lincoln Memorial, the reflection pool, and I remember that day. People took their shoes off, they had their feet in the water, and I joined them. And then I heard people coming, and I looked up, and there was a crowd of people. And I got up, and there was Dr. Martin Luther King being escorted. So I ran over to where he was, and he looked at me. He says, how are you? I said, I'm good. How are you? I said, are you Martin Luther King, Jr.? He said, yes, I am. I said, what's your name? I said, Jay. He said, you're American Indian, aren't you? I said, yes, I am. And he gave me a hug. And I'll never forget that day. America has a very serious problem with its population of people from all over the world. But the biggest problem America faced was when the European came here in the mid to late 1400s and they saw a beautiful land and they saw an opportunity to make a better life but also an opportunity to exploit people. I hear folks talk about reconciliation. You can't have reconciliation with anybody that you never had a friendship with. So America needs a conciliation conference to make things better. And through conciliation, things can be reconciled. But we have to all have open ears and open hearts to listen to your heart. Your heart don't lie to you. Your brain will tell you all kinds of lies, but the heart don't lie. So in the spirit of honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I say to all of you that now is the time for reconciliation through conciliation. We need to learn to talk to each other and not at each other. I was taught by my grandfather, my grandmother, my Cherokee grandmother and grandfather that when you talk to someone, you look them in the eyes. You don't look around. You look that person in the eyes. Why? Because the eyes are the pathway to the heart. And you can see what the heart is saying. 
I believe in the concept of our people, my sister, as we speak of the human family, Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse both spoke of the human family, not the native family, not the white family, not the Asian family, not the black family, but the human family. And I can remember Dr. King saying that we are all inextricably bound our destinies to one another. When you look at our medicine wheel, the red, the black, the white, and the yellow. If one of those colors turn up missing, everything falls apart. So it is incumbent upon all of us to do whatever we can to make sure that we are all included in the circle. As I look towards Pennsylvania Avenue, President Barack Obama is leaving us. President Barack Obama has done more for the American Indian than all of his predecessors combined in just his eight years. He wants to do more, but time is up. And so many of us feel hurt that this new presidential selected, not elected, but selected, president is coming into office, but be of good cheers. We can beat him. And how can we beat him? If the red, the black, the white, and the yellow, the gay, and the straight, and women come together and sit at the table and talk to each other, not at each other. America, we've been talking at each other too long. We must learn to talk to each other. When I look at this brother, this is my brother. When I look at you, you're my sister. It's not about the color of your skin. It's not about the pigmentation of your eyes. It is not about any of this. It's not about who you worship and call God. It's not about your traditions, your culture, or what you eat. Do you know what it's all about? Do you know what it's all about? It's about how you treat my heart. Danada go aiwa doh.